Changing your suprapubic catheter is a necessary task that is typically completed once every 28 days. However, follow the change frequency prescribed by your provider. To change a suprapubic catheter, it's best to be in the lying position. Typically, most catheter changes are done in bed. Make sure the environment is clean and free from clutter. Here are the supplies you'll need to complete a suprapubic catheter change. An empty syringe. You'll need this to remove the old catheter. A catheter insertion kit. A new catheter. Make sure you have the correct size with a 5 to 10 cc balloon. A felt tip marker. A clean towel. Non-sterile gloves. Alcohol swabs and a razor. This is optional if you need to shave around the catheter area before changing. It's important to make sure all loose hairs are removed after shaving and before changing. Before you start, wash your hands thoroughly with soap and warm water. Put on non-sterile gloves. Now you're ready to get started. Gently pull the old catheter taut. Use a felt tip marker to mark the catheter at the insertion site. Now, remove the gloves so you can prepare all of the sterile supplies. You'll use a new pair of non-sterile gloves once you're ready to remove the old catheter. It's important to prepare the sterile materials first before you're ready to change the catheter. This is critical so that the insertion site is exposed the least amount of time as possible. First, open the catheter insertion kit. To open, remove the outer packaging and then unwrap each corner carefully to create a clean workspace. Do not touch any of the supplies in the kit while your gloves are off. Now, Open the outer packaging of the catheter about halfway. There is still another layer of packaging around the catheter itself. This inner layer of packaging is sterile. Without touching the inner layer, drop the catheter onto the clean work area. Now, put on a clean pair of non-sterile gloves. Place a clean towel on the lap of the person below the insertion site. Attach the empty syringe to the colored port of the old catheter. Pull the plunger back on the empty syringe to deflate the balloon. The syringe will start to fill with liquid. When the plunger stops moving, manually pull the plunger back two to three more times to ensure the balloon is completely deflated. Now, pull the old catheter completely out of the person and lay it down on the clean towel. Remove your non-sterile gloves. In the catheter kit, remove the drape, which is the top layer of the kit. Discard the drape. Underneath the drape, you will find a package of sterile gloves. Do not open the package of sterile gloves over your clean work area. Open the sterile gloves to the side or away from the clean work area. Put on your sterile gloves. You can now touch all of the items in the clean work area. Remove the lid of the tray and place the lid directly in front of the tray on your clean work area. When you remove the lid, you'll see a urine collection cup, a lid, a label, and a filled syringe. Remove everything except for the syringe. Set the urine collection container and label off to the side. These will only be used if obtaining a urine sample for your provider. Next, pick up the catheter and open it. There is a perforated edge along one side of the packaging. This makes opening the catheter easier. Once the catheter is open, place it inside the tray in a U shape. Next, remove the cap on the filled syringe and attach it to the colored port of the new catheter. Now, 
open the small package of lubricant. This is usually underneath the betadine. Generously lubricate the tip of the catheter. There are several cotton balls included in the kit. Open the betadine package and saturate three cotton balls. There are a pair of tweezers included in the kit. Use the tweezers to grab one of the saturated cotton balls. Clean the area in a circular motion, working from the insertion site to about two inches around the site. Repeat this three times. Once the area is clean, grab the tray and move it to the towel. Place the new catheter next to the old catheter, but do not touch the new catheter with the old catheter. While both catheters are side by side, move your finger and thumb to the same length as the marked position of the old catheter. Keep your finger and thumb on this position while inserting the new catheter. Now, insert the new catheter into the person's insertion site. Gently advance the catheter forward until your finger and thumb come in contact with the person's body. The catheter should advance fairly easily. However, if you run into resistance, advance with slow and steady pressure. The bladder may be having a spasm. The pressure may help in easing the spasm. Ideally, you'll want to see urine drip out of the catheter tubing before you inflate the balloon, but this may not always happen. Next, inflate the balloon. To do this, Hold the colored port with one hand while injecting the fluid of the filled syringe into the catheter. Keep pressure on the plunger of the syringe while you twist and remove the syringe from the port. It's important to keep pressure on the syringe while you're doing this, because if you don't, the balloon on the inside will deflate and the syringe will begin to backfill with fluid. If you haven't seen urine flow yet, Move the tray down from the person's lap with the end of the catheter inside the tray next to the patient. This allows for gravity to work in your favor. You should start to see the flow of urine within a few seconds. If you don't see urine right away, don't panic. Sometimes it can take up to two minutes for urine to flow. Check the position of the catheter. Grab the catheter and push it in about a half an inch to an inch. Then, gently pull it back the same distance. As you pull back, you should feel resistance. This is the balloon catching against the edge of the bladder. Do not pull past the resistance. This in and out motion should be an easy glide. Now, you can either connect your catheter to a new urine bag or clean the connector of your current urine bag and connect it. Before connecting your new catheter to your existing urine bag, make sure to clean the connection thoroughly. Use an alcohol swab to wipe down the connection point. Now for the cleanup. Clean off all the betadine with a clean, wet washcloth. Dry the area completely. If you've been instructed by your provider, wrap gauze around the insertion site and secure with tape. Finally, check the urine bag 30 minutes after the change to make sure urine is flowing.